And the first time my neighbors asked me to go hang with them, I did not know what they were talking about. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, I smoke some weed here every once in a while. And uh, it's okay now, because it's legalish, right? I got my, got my medical marijuana card. Went to my doctor and he says, well, why do you need a medical marijuana card? I said, well, because I've been smoking since 5.30 and I still act like this. Oh, give me a reason why I shouldn't have it. Oh. So he gave me my prescription, sent me on my way, and now I've tried weed from all over California. I love California weed. And you know what I found out? That after smoking all that weed, I, I really, really love ding-dongs, man. Oh, my, <laughs> my family's concerned. They, they don't want me to stay away from weed, right? They keep saying, oh, you should stay away from weed. So I bought a six-foot bong. Now I gotta be like way over here. <laughs> What the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, I smoke weed every once in a while. I didn't always smoke weed. I used to be afraid of drugs, man. When I was a kid, I remember, you know, the, those commercials would come on. Oh, if you even try weed one time, you'll be hooked forever and never be able to stop. You'll smoke forever and ever and ever until you die. And shit, I've been smoking, I don't know, like 24 years now, every day, and I'm not hooked. <laughs> but, uh, I'm a little late to the party on this one, but I had some Tiger Woods stuff I want to talk about. You know, I keep hearing these people like, oh man, poor Tiger Woods, he made a mistake, man. He just made a mistake. People should lay off of him. Well, what mistake did he make? Sleeping with hundreds of beautiful women? Is that a mistake? You know what I mean? No, getting married is your mistake. That's If he never got married, people were like, oh, there goes Tiger the Bachelor. What a lucky guy. <laughs> They're not saying that. They're saying, poor Tiger. He just made a mistake. So he went from be a lucky guy to poor guy because of marriage. So I hope this isn't lost on you single guys out there. <laughs> married guys, I'm sorry. You guys are fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless maybe there's like a, you know, a buyer's remorse clause, something you can get out of. <laughs> but, but really, I mean... If you guys are looking to go get regular sex, first of all, that's the dumbest reason to get married, right? Yes. You know what I mean? It just dries up. You're like, yeah, I thought I was going to get laid every once in a while. But you can save a lot of money with prostitutes. <laughs> Hear me out. Because, first of all, I mean, think about the marriage. If you're going to get married just to get to the wedding, you're talking like $5,000 on an engagement ring, another five on the wedding ring. About twenty grand on the marriage, or thirty grand. You haven't even had the, the you know wedding night nuptials yet. But if you're paying two hundred dollars a pop, so to speak, <laughs> then you can have sex twice a week all year long, and it costs you like what about thirty thousand? You know, I would know about ten thousand dollars roughly. So I've saved you about. $20,000 right off the bat. And I guaranteed you sex about 104 times in a year. You know what? I should be charging you people for this. This is good information. But think, all the shit you buy, like you can buy her a house. It's going to be like $400,000, right? You know what? You can have sex every day for an entire year with a prostitute. It's going to cost you like $34,000. I have saved you like $370,000. You know what? Five bucks from every guy here. This is gold. Come on, you want to pay up? All right. Well, at least you know. Remember to name your abandoned children after me. Okay? Something. But I'm telling you that when, if you're <laughs> sorry, they gave me the light. It completely threw me off there. The light's better than the finger, but it's still threw me off. <laughs> but. You know what I mean? If you're thinking of getting married, you got gifts to buy, you got, you know, your wedding, your, your anniversary gifts, your Hanukkah, your Valentine's, all this stuff. That's thousands of dollars a year. And we haven't even gotten up to the divorce attorney yet. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. So if you look at the numbers, why, why, why would anybody ever choose to get married? Ever. I have no real end for this because it's not a joke. I'm trying to help you people. Help me help you. Thank you very much. Have a great